of Solomon. I like his writings because he was the wisest man that ever lived. You know why he was wise? Because he could have asked God for anything, but he asked God for wisdom. So every day of my life, I'm asking God for wisdom. Yes, 
See, say what? Girl, she got to be crazy. I wouldn't take that. Well, you not me. I'm trying to live according to what God has called me to do. I'm looking out to him who is the author and finisher of my faith. Hallelujah. Your mind has to be transformed. It has to be renewed. I can't think with this mind. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. For it is written, he is the one who catches the wise in their craftiness. Yeah. And again, the Lord knows the reasoning of the wise that they are useless. Yeah. Yeah. Now the Bible tells us in James the first chapter and the fifth verse. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. right. If any of you lack wisdom, yeah. let yeah. him ask of God that give it to all men liberally yeah. and upbraid it not and it shall be given him. Uh -huh. So in other words, wisdom is the ability to judge and to act accordingly to God's directives. That's, it. That's what wisdom is. Yeah. But if we don't have wisdom, we are to ask God for it. He will give it to you. Yeah. So every day, ask God to give you wisdom in whatever you have to face, whatever circumstance may be going on. God, give me wisdom in this. How do you want me to react? This. How do you want me to respond? We don't want to act, we respond. So how do you want me to respond in this situation? Yeah. God, I need you to lead me yeah. because if I do it myself, I know I'm going to mess up. So I'm fully depending and trusting in Him to show me the right way. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let us go to um, Proverbs, the first chapter and the seventh verse. Beautiful. It tells us to fear the Lord. It reads, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So if you don't want what's true, then you're going to despise it. Remember the, um, the, 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 the uh, ten brides day? I mean, five were wise and five were foolish. We have to prepare. Heaven is a, is a prepared place for a prepared people. So five of the, uh, the bridesmaids had enough oil in their lamp. Yeah. And five didn't because they didn't know when the bridegroom was coming. Right. So therefore, we have to be prepared because we don't know when Jesus is going to come back. Right. Hallelujah. We just don't know. Yeah. Hosea, the 14th chapter in the ninth verse. Let me tell you God's way. The right way reads. Who is wise? And he shall understand these things. Prudence. And he shall know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. And the just shall walk in them, but the transgressors shall fall therein. Oh Hallelujah. So Hosea says, let me summarize this for you. The main thing is to know God and his ways. Right. To follow him and that they, we will find righteousness and we will avoid paths that lead to destruction. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Wisdom and righteousness goes together. It is good to be wise, and it is wise to be good. Hallelujah. When it comes to trying to avoid going in the ways that seems right unto you, just ask God for wisdom. Now, as I close, what does all this come down to? Well, Jesus tells us the way in John 14, chapter, the 4th through the 6th verse. And whither I go, ye know. And the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. And how can we know the way? Come on, Jesus. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So we can't use that lame excuse. But what is the way? When Jesus is telling us that I Pretty poor. 
for excuse. So we all know right from wrong. I hear what some of you are saying, but we are still human and we're going to make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. But I hear you, but also remember that we are supposed to be making choices that are not compliant, that are compliant to the spirit and not to the flesh. So you don't want to do what the flesh tells you to do. You want to do what the spirit tells you to do. Hallelujah. We must battle the flesh and also gain victories over it. Hallelujah. This is why Christ came, is it not? Hallelujah. That we will no longer be bound to the flesh, but that we will be set free and have liberty from the flesh. Hallelujah. The Bible said, he whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Free to make right decisions. Free to correct according to the Spirit and not what seems right to us. It has been said that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Good intentions do not bring about good results. In other words, the road to death is walked by doing what may seem right unto a man. Don't live any longer in the way that seems right to you. We don't want to live that way. Live in the way that honors the Lord in obedience to God and it will lead to eternal life and joy Today. Now maybe somebody's in here is thinking, I don't know which way that I need to go. But the 